George Carlin, quotes about life. Keep in mind, the news media are not independent. They are a sort of bulletin board and public relations firm for the ruling class, the people who run things. Those who decide what news you will or will not hear are paid by and tolerated purely at the whim of those who hold economic power. If the parent corporation doesn't want you to know something, it won't be on the news, period. Or at very least, it will be slanted to suit them, and then rarely followed up. Don't teach your children to read. Teach them to question what they read. Teach them to question everything. Just because you got the monkey off your back doesn't mean the circus has left town. Did you ever stop to think about all the people we kill? There are always people who tell us to live together in harmony and try to love one another. Jesus, Gandhi, Lincoln, John Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy, Medgar Evers, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, John Lennon. They all said, try to live together peacefully. Bam! Right in the effing head. Apparently, we're not ready for that. Have you ever noticed the only metaphor we have in our public discourse is to declare war on it? We have the war on crime, the war on cancer, the war on drugs. But did you ever notice that we have no war on homelessness? You know why? Because there's no money in that problem. No money to be made off the homeless. If you can find a solution to homelessness where the corporations and politicians can make a few million dollars each, you will see the streets of America begin to clear up pretty damn quick. Those who dance are considered insane by those who cannot hear the music. The larger the group, the more toxic. The more your beauty as an individual you have to surrender for the sake of group thought. And when you surrender your individual beauty, you also give up a lot of your humanity. You will do things in the name of the group that you would never do on your own. Injuring, hurting, killing, drinking are all part of it. Because you've lost your identity. Because you now owe your allegiance to this thing that's bigger than you are. And that controls you. Governments don't want a population capable of critical thinking. They want obedient workers. People just smart enough to run the machines and just dumb enough to passively accept their situation. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets and they own all the big media companies. So they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. I went to a bookstore and asked the saleswoman, where's the self-help section? She said if she told me, it would defeat the purpose. Tell people an invisible man in the sky created all things, they believe you. Tell them that what you've painted is wet, they have to touch it to believe. Come on back to Redbeard's world, you're done messing around with your life. Mm -hmm.